this is the fitting that came with the vent tile and that's where the ducting uh, fits onto but because of the shape of this piece it won't fit because one of the roof timbers is in the way so it needs a different shaped fitting to fit on this rectangular opening so I'm going to try and make one out of fiberglass so instead of coming straight out it's got to kind of lean back this way a bit and then curl through 90 degrees and go across that way I made a wooden box filled that with polyurethane expanding foam filled up like that and I carved the polyurethane into this shape glued a piece of wood on the end made that piece in the lathe I glued that piece on to grip it in the lathe made the top out of wood that's glued on as well I've covered the polyurethane with a thin coat of plaster filler I'm going to put a plaster sealer on there now and then I shall put a thin layer of silicon onto that before I put the fiberglass on. Right, I've got that covered with a thin coat of silicon. I welded a um, steel rod here so as I can turn the um, whole thing round as I'm working on it. The reason I've made this end out of wood is because this end is what is the bit that slots onto the underside of the tile and it needs to be fairly accurate where this rebate is and uh, this piece of wood is screwed to that one so after the fiberglass is set I'll take these four screws out and this piece of wood I don't think it'll come out in one piece but if it doesn't I'll drill some holes across it so that it comes out in two pieces same with this one so um, if that doesn't come out in one piece I'll drill a row of holes across it it'll come out in two pieces and then all the polyurethane foam should rake out from the inside of the fiberglass that's the plan I've got one layer of fab glass over the mould it's a job to get an even thickness because each piece you put on has to overlap the other and around here it needs to be um, an even thickness it doesn't need to be too thick or the flexible pipe won't fit over the top so I'm going to sand off the high spots and put another layer on. This can be made um, as thick as I want here because um, this end the, the fitting is on the inside. I think I might get this piece of wood out now before I put the next layer on and the, um, the expanding foam inside I've drilled some holes across the wood and now I think it'll come out Right now I need to 
get this um, expanding foam out. I'll have to rake that out in bits. Well, that went to plan. And the thickness is pretty even. I'm going to put another layer on there though. I'll sand these little lumps off before I do that. I'll have to leave the wood in this end until it's finished because I need this metal support which is screwed to it so as I can turn it around as I'm putting the layer on. Right, got another layer of fiberglass on and because the pieces kind of overlap each other there's probably at least three thicknesses here. Around this top opening there's um, at least four, four layers. Now I need to get this wood out. Probably have to drill that like I did the other end. That's the wood drilled out. You get that cleaned up. See what it fits like. That's the adapter finished. That's the way it's mounted, that way up. It's going to need three little brackets to hold it in place. So I'll make three stainless steel lugs and fiberglass those to the side. That's the brackets made. Strip of stainless steel, 12 mil wide, 3 mm thick, fiberglassed onto the unit. So that's the job finished.